Hey John here, so I'm still messing around with these cameras and uh, I'm about to get to my last one here. So I planted this pole, it's 10 foot 4x4 four four, and uh, I got it encased in cement and I ran the wires and uh, I still have to do uh, a few things but uh, so because it's solid wood and this PTZ camera, I'll have to show you in a second, um, you know it's, it's, it's able to look around all around and zoom in and out but uh, the way you got to mount it, it's got to Usually it'll come through a building so you can wire it on the other side of the building, you know, and do this. But this is solid wood, so even though this is direct burial wire, both of them are, so you need a, you need this, well, I'm using a coax wire, but you need a, a, a wire, power and ground for your, your camera, a power and ground um, for what well, you need, your video signal, which is I'm going to use this coax cable for that, and a power and ground you need, and also two more wires for the control of the camera, for the pan, tilt, zoom camera. You need two more wires so that's a five wire underground sprinkler wire so that's going to work good uh, again i didn't have to bury it in cement or uh, in a tube you could just direct bury this stuff but i did that anyways uh and like i said I'll, I'll get to the wiring later but let's get to this box so i got an idea i had this old piece of uh, w uh it, it, actually i thought about making it out of wood or metal or something like that but i had this old piece of vinyl uh, i got it downstairs i'll show you and um I think that's what I'm going to make it out of because it's an inch thick, it's pretty good stuff and it'll probably sit around to the end of days because I have no use for it. So I'm going to cut it up and uh, make a box out of this. I got some ideas. Let me go in the basement and show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to use. It's this piece of vinyl. It's like a little bit more than three quarter inch thick. It's almost an inch thick. But uh, it's got a little texture on one side but I'm going to mark this up and cut it up to uh, about 20 inch, 20 inch lengths and that'll be the size of the box. And I'll uh, rip it down on the table saw and uh, make a box out of it and you'll see in a sec but let me let me get this uh, marked up and cut up all right so that board was uh, just under seven feet so I was able to make uh, these are 20 inch lengths and uh, the width here on the original board was five and a half by one inch uh, the reason I'm using this vinyl not wood or metal or anything else is because I had this piece left over and uh, it'll do good in the weather so like I said this is the original piece I cut it in a 20 20 inch sections and then I ripped these two down to three and a half inches wide which is the the width of a uh, four by four and then these little pieces I'll show you what I'm going to do with them they're just an inch by inch by uh, four inches uh, so let me put this together and show you what, what I've got in mind uh, at least the initial stages and then uh, go from there all right so something like this so I've got these uh, little one inch blocks I've got it four inches from the, this side here because this is going to slide over the top of, of the pole once this uh, once this piece is on and how I'm going to secure this is uh, using this is PVC or vinyl whatever you want to call it um, it's like vinyl siding except vinyl siding is going to you know it can expand and contract pretty good this stuff's an inch thick so I'm expecting it not to expand and contract uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to glue it with the same stuff you would use on vinyl fencing or whatever to keep a like a cap on top or the same stuff you use for AB, ABS pipe piping, you know, with the, the uh, general purpose it glue that, that uh, welds it together. That's what I'm going to use that and uh, some braid nails, uh, and that should secure it. And so once once this piece goes on, I'm not going to use the, uh, the the textured side because I'm going to paint this up anyways. So uh, once this goes on, put your blocks in. Like I said, this will slide over the pole, and uh, for the top here, I'm going to. I'm going to do something different. I don't have enough vinyl to make a top piece because I also had that one piece of vinyl. But I am going to make I got a piece of metal in mind that I'm going to do like a um, a circle kind of deal that's on a hinge, so I can uh, lift it up because that's going to be the access to your wires, and your camera's going to be off the side of this, uh, off the side of this wherever it is hanging down. You'll see when it's uh, further along. But so I did a little experiment with the, the glue. This is uh, all purpose, but it's kind of like old. It's pasty, right? And I didn't think it was going to work, but you can't get it apart. It's still uh, a little bit, uh, I was just trying to get it apart and you can't. So I think just, just the glue alone will do the trick, but I did have some of this blue stuff. And because I'm going to paint this vinyl anyway, even if this blue stuff gets all over the place, I just sandwiched these two pieces together. This is still pasty, but not as bad. So I think I'm going to use this blue stuff, rain or shine, medium blue, blah, blah, blah. Um, just because I had some, thought I had some more of this stuff. But anyways, I tried to get this apart. Just put this together five minutes ago, and uh, I can't. I spray this with some solvent cleaner. Just 
get, get rid of the dust. The vinyl, uh, I just went through a table saw, so I don't want any, uh, anything on here. I want a pretty good seal. So this is going to go here. Actually, I want the smooth side out. And then, uh, smooth side out, something like this. Glue it in place. And like I said, the top, I'm just going to put these mounting blocks um, here. Two here. No, I'll, sit, I'll have to flip it around once it dries. But and two here, four inches up from the bottom, because like I said, it's going to slide onto the pole, like so. Um, so let me glue them in place and uh, chica, chica, chica. do some brad nails. Before I go try it on the pole, I think I want to put a 45 uh, edge on the bottom of this just to help it, because the the, the the three by three and a half inch, uh, you know, the four by four pole, it's just going to maybe look a little too bulky. I haven't gone out there yet, but um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I was going to round the corners over here, but because the pole is square, I kind of want to leave this square, but I don't like how it's going to look with a skinny pole to a fat pole. So I'm going to try to transition this a little bit by just cutting a 45 on each. Uh, on each leg, see how that comes out. I got it set up actually. So, uh, well, let's see. Probably goof this right up. Have to throw it away, start from scratch, yeah? Let's see what happens. sitting on the on the pole like kind of like a lantern deal you know uh, and it's vinyl so again I am gonna paint it up but it doesn't matter so I think that'll I think that'll look good or better than it would just uh, square <laughs> I so I originally tried I was like oh you gotta be kidding me it's too tight but then uh, I realized that I didn't take in consideration the saw curve you know taking away uh, a little bit on each side because this was five and a half inches wide. I figured, you know, this is three and a half inches wide. That would leave me two inches left over for the width of this. Uh, well, you know how it goes. My measurements were right. I just forgot about the saw curve. And uh, so, you know, the pole's already planted. So there's nothing I could do about that as far as I couldn't take the pole down and, you know, take it through the table saw and reduce it a little bit. So I ended up uh, plan B with the old belt sander. What a rough, rough, uh, sandpaper there and that did a trick so now it fits now we can go to the next step uh, which is I'm going to drill a hole in the back and uh, you know for, for, for where this wire comes up and it'll conduit and uh, plugs into there so that's that it uh, seems kind of high up there but it's not it's only uh, it's, it's basically I want it because this camera when you when you 
you know, when it hangs, it's going to hang a good foot about basically all of that uh, white vinyl there. And then uh, it'll look both ways or, you know, wherever it needs to. But uh, I still got to make the top piece. Uh, but let me get to drilling a hole there and putting this camera on there at least uh, and maybe getting that painted up for now. All right, so before I paint this up, now, now that we know it fits, um, I'm going to drill some holes in this. So I, on the one side, I need this plugged in somewhere, yeah. And I've only got, you know, this much area to work with. Well, it's it's quite a lot, actually. This It's only going on the pole six inches here, uh, right about to here. So the rest of it, it's, it's kind of hollow in there. I can work with uh, doing the wires and fitting my hand in there, you know, to a certain degree. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little bit strategically where I want this. Now, this is probably going to be here, so then I'm going to reach it. And uh, again, I haven't done a top yet, and I'll get to that. It's just going to be a piece of aluminum. That's what I have in mind. Uh, so this uh, is standing out pretty far, and this stands out from the pole. So I kind of want to sink this in uh, flush. And if I drill the hole this big, because this is plastic, this is plastic, I can use that same uh, PVC glue and just, you know, drill a hole in there, glue it right there, flush, you know, like this. So that's probably what I'm going to do there, drill a big enough hole there, and that way this will be, um, you know, enough to stick st stick your conduit in. But <clears throat> again, this is going to be a little bit thicker, with an inch wider than the, the pole, you know, itself. So we'll have to do one of those little curvy deals to get it against the the 4x4. Four four. You get what I'm saying? So that, that's a no-brainer. And on the other side of this, this is where this camera is going to fit on, right? And then uh, this, of course this will be vertical, but this kind of feeds in there, the wires feed in there, and this dangles, right? And this is what, you know, your camera is. So, that's pretty easy. Uh, all I got to do is mount this piece, drill a three-quarter inch hole here to accept the wires going through here, mount this piece, and on the other side, drill whatever circumference that is, mount that piece, so that's what I'm going to do. So on second thought, I was going to glue this, it's going to glue this in place, but in case I need to change anything out, I don't need this to be stuck on there, it'd be useless, so all I'm going to do is uh, drill a little pilot hole here and just send a screw or two down to mount it onto this, and that'll be that. Uh, so this is what I'm going to use for the top piece, uh, just a piece of aluminum plate, but I've got it mapped out to... Uh, basically, it's going to cover the camera on one end, a little bit on the other, about 10 inches wide by 22 inches. It's the best I can come up with. I'm not. I was going to put it on a hinge at first, so then you can, uh, you know, hinge it up, go do your wire thing. But I think what I'm going to do is add some uh, angle iron that'll slip into. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Slip into the top of the pole. You'll see in a sec. But uh, let me cut this piece out, and then. Uh, make some of the angle irons and it'll just kind of pressure fit in there or gravity fit in there so it shouldn't go anywhere but let me cut this out I got this, uh, this piece, I'll take the edges down a little bit. I'm going to make uh, out of this angle here some stems that'll fit into the post. Just kind of like uh, slice it off here, to just, just two of them, and then pop rivet on here at the uh, you know measurement I need, and that'll be, uh, that'll be good enough. <laughs> so we ended up something like this. This is just going to pressure fit inside the... Uh, the box here, and this will be the the roof, the top. We'll see. I guess I can put it on right now. So this will be uh, it's upside down, but where the camera will be. Right, a little snug. You can get 
an idea that way. So the camera will hang down here to be protected from the, uh, the aluminum overhang and the overhang for the electric. I think that'll be enough. The, the camera itself is waterproof, but I just wanted a little extra protection. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And this is all I'm going to secure it with, just these uh, galvanized uh, lag bolts to the pole. This should be enough to go inside, or uh, hold it. You know, it's, it's basically gravity will do the trick, but this will, when I put it on the pole, be able to level it. And when I screw it in the pole, that'll be that. Yep, you get the idea. And then the conduit will run in between here. And then I'll, uh, well, you'll see. Let me, uh, let me go put this on see what it looks like. All right, so it's mounted. And uh, that little string hanging out of there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's going to be uh, to pull the wire through. When I, when I hook the camera up, I want to pull the wire through. It's just going to be a little easier if you set it up now. Uh, so let me put that hat on there because uh, it's getting a little late in the day here, so I can't finish this today. Uh, I'll probably do the conduit on the back side of that pole there. Uh, where the hell am I at? The back side of that pole there. Do the conduit and uh, wire this thing up and then go see if this thing works. So let me put the hat on it in the meantime just because uh, I think it's going to rain or snow or do something tonight. So. Alright, so I've got the conduit uh, plugged into the back of that pole there, but as you can see it spaces out when it gets to the thicker stuff. So I got an idea in our mind. Uh, so I, I mounted it there, plugged it into the, the thick stuff, and then the next mount is uh, down here, right? So I'm going to take my heat gun here and just heat this area up and uh, hopefully that'll shove in I uh, got that little bit loose that'll shove in closer because I don't really like the look of that so let me do that first yeah so we got the conduit running up here right so if you need to make a bend like this like I did so it's going up here going in there comes out the roof I'll wire it stuff the stuff the wires back in and put the cap on but if you need to make a bend like this uh, because this is thicker than this obviously uh, that's all it takes is a heat gun I don't know if a hair dryer will do it, but this stuff bends really easy. Just heat heat the thing up. I just put the loosely put this here, loosely put that there, heated this up, sucked them in, and it was perfect. Um, I mean, there's no way you can get it, you know, like that kind of perfect, but that's good enough. Uh, it, it's flush with everything, and uh, they do make a little piece that that zigs and zags, but this is an inch thick so making your own is the way I went with that so now let me uh, so I've got the video cable we're almost done here so let me let me wire this thing up All right. so the whole reason I'm doing this camera is to keep an eye on that fella he likes to run around and do his thing so here's where I'm at with this so I've got everything wired up haven't heat you know uh, heat shrinked it or taped anything up yet but all this stuff's going in a hole here you know, we'll just stuff it down and we'll put that cap on there. But I can't heat shrink everything and tape everything up until I test it. And it's good to go right now. Uh, so let me go and see. And I haven't tested it yet because I'm using an old DVR for, for this particular camera. Uh, because, like I said, I, well, I don't know if I said before, but I've got cameras on the house that are stationary and they're using a new DVR. And a new DVR would not accept this um ptz camera but the old dvr at least in my basement when i was you know just had it on a bench it did work but since this has been wired and i ran everything underground i don't know if i showed that but let me let me get down and show you what i'm talking about and test this uh camera see if it works hold on everything's wired up uh not complete yet but so last no it was two weeks ago i think i ran this conduit underground of course we've had a lot of rain since then so everything's settled in you won't be able to tell but it's all under here runs up around this corner here i had everything dug up at one point but i don't think i filmed anything and it runs along here along this gravel driveway like i said it rains so everything looks untouched and uh through this little where the leaves are here along the cement just giving some ideas but uh and then i tucked it in again under the gravel Went under this uh, ramp here, and that's where I went into the house. That was kind of problematic, getting in there, but uh, it was successful. So it go, it enters the basement at this point. Well, I'm not going to go back in there, but you have to take my word. It comes in that corner down there where the plumbing is, 
and uh, I've got it wired coming you know there's a bunch of wires there but you can't see where it is um, I think it's on this side again I did it two weeks ago yeah so we're coming up here and these are the wires here this orange one the black and the gray and uh, of course I got it labeled there but so I ran it over kept going to um, I, I gotta finish this up this is where I spliced in but I've got it going up to my TV and uh, that's where I want to monitor stuff because uh, you could just switch the input and just look around your property through the TV. So I thought that would be a neat idea. But again, this is not tested yet. I tested it on a bench just to see if things work and then I wired it. So this is going to be uh, see if it works. Uh, so I, again, I haven't taped everything up yet as far as, uh, you know, tucking it in completely. But there's where the power is plugged in. And uh, so we're going to go upstairs and turn on a TV and see if things work. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Now, let's try to see if we can figure this out. So I've got um, a stereo remote. I don't think I'm going to need that. I'm thinking just the TV remote and the uh, mouse for the DVR. So I'm thinking just the TV alone should, uh, oops, should do the trick because there's no audio. I think that's <laughs> must have went to it automatic because I just plugged it in. That looks like yeah, it is. <laughs> it just popped up. No way. I thought I'd have to find it. Jeez. I guess because I just plugged everything in, it recognizes a source and just goes to it. Because I was like, I wonder what's. Let me let me push source here. Huh? It says PC. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, like I said, I used. Uh, I just hooked the the. HDMI cord up to input 2. I guess it recognizes the DVR as a PC. Let me see something right quick. Uh, so if I go over here to, let's say, the stereo. Oh, just turn the stereo on. Okay. So, I don't know. It must have just recognized a, a source. Yeah. I, that was weird. So I don't have to, uh-oh, uh let me get back out of here. I don't have to find anything. Well, I guess I do. Go back to source. Go back to P PC. Wow, there it is. All right, so let's grab the mouse and uh, let's see. Main menu. Not exactly. Sure. I can't remember on this DVR how to get to the PTZ control. General settings. Ay ay ay. I don't want to waste your time. See video settings. I think I put that on uh, channel one. Yeah, I hooked everything up. <clears throat> There's just one channel on this whole DVR. It's an eight network setting. Oh crap! I guess I got to pause it to. I got to figure out where the PTZ control is. It's one through eight. Yeah, this eight channel view. Playback, view image, log out, shut down, internet. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to uh oh left click image setting, zoom, snapshot, playback. No, it's oh P PTZ control, let's see. Alright. Now we're talking. Yep, you can grab it just like a mouse. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, baby. Work. This looks like up. <laughs> cool. So, again, I have to uh, tape everything up. It looks like it's working. Left, right, down, up. What's... Uh, See what we can see in the backyard. Oh yeah. This is cool. Uh, zoom. Zoom a zoom. No? Oh yeah. I wish you can get rid of this thing. I don't know how to get... 
just drag it like a <clears throat> regular uh, it's in a way I want to zoom in on that car see how far it goes whoops zoom down zoom whoa whoa this thing zooms in pretty good whoa this thing zooms in pretty good that's a nice camera Oh look, slow, fast. Oh, maybe for panning or whatever. Ah, that's way cool, man. That's zoomed in pretty, pretty far. Look, you can see all my junk back there. <laughs> no way. Let's zoom out here. See where we're at. That's pretty awesome. So it does work. All right, so we got everything shrink wrapped, shrink wrapped or heat shrinked or whatever, and uh, everything works. So we're just gonna stuff all this stuff down in this cavity here, right? And then put our little cap on there. So everything is gonna be uh, golden, right? So let's just tuck her in. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but. that's it right so in the future I've got enough wire in here to uh, in case I need to you know redo some stuff but I save my slots here let's see here let's see if I can do this one hand without falling off this ladder I feel like I'm unbalanced here so this is just gonna sit fit in here boy Trickier, trickier it looks, All right? It says charge battery pack. So, uh, that's that. Let me go charge this thing right quick before I run out of battery. This is the top of it. Not worried about that. All right, so there you have it. I got everything painted up. I even painted the conduit. Uh, I was going to paint the, uh, the light up there, uh, their camera rather. But I'll just leave it white for now. Maybe I'll paint it in the future. I don't know. But anyways, that's all I got. For, uh, thanks for watching. So I think it came out pretty good. Uh, now I can keep an eye on the mutts there. Yeah. I right, hope that's you know helpful to somebody as far as uh, you know what what you can do or some ideas of what you could do on a, for a PTZ camera if you don't want to like mount it to a typical house or garage or or building or something like that to have a standalone deal like that. That's what I did. Thanks.